3D printers are awesome. They're great for making things for around the home or simple mechanisms, but they struggle to print the kind of complex things that we see in biology. But what if you wanted to make something like that? What if you wanted to create life? Could you 3D print a cat? The internet is full of cats. This is one such example. A standard desktop 3D printer is too small to print a full-size cat, so this has had to become this. Of course, standard plastics wouldn't do anything special without some sort of additive. I obtained this vessel from a mysterious travelling salesman that assured me that the elixir contained within would bestow upon my creations the gift of life. Very carefully, we apply a precise dose of the liquid in a controlled environment. You may hear the lab Geiger counter in the background. Please, do not try this at home. We then apply the substance to a sufficient amount of material to print an entire cat. Cats can be quite large. This took some time. With the elixir over half exhausted, we are now finally ready to start printing. Setting your 3D printer to montage speed can dramatically decrease the time per print. Here we can see the detailed fur at the base of the first test print. The, the tail is moving! I, I don't believe it. it. It's worked! All hail glorious science! Ooh. <clears throat> As with all science, it's important to verify these things have come out to specification. Oh, this one's a little small. The acid test for any feline is, of course, a laser pointer. Subject response, nil. I guess it's back to the drawing board. Perhaps the kitten quotient needs to be modified. Or maybe that Schrodinger has something to do with it. He always did have a thing about cats.